Welcome back to day 38 of finishing my basement by myself. You've seen me pour cement so that I had level ground in order to lay all this flooring. But now because of that, the finished flooring is way higher than the original cement. So I got this door transition in order to fix it. The first thing I had to do was chip away at the protruding concrete in order to get it flush with the floor. And then I just wiped away the debris. And before I installed the transition, I wanted to do the door frame first. If you've been here since day one, then you know I framed these walls myself. And they weren't perfectly straight, but that's okay. Just use some shims. And then this is how the floor transition works. It's pretty simple. But honestly, the height difference in my floor was huge. So I kind of had to MacGyver it a little. This is most definitely not in the instructions. I have a reducer and an end cap here. My transition to the cement is just further than I think this is made for. So I'm just going to combine the two um, and pray that it works. Like I said, you're not supposed to do this, but honestly, I don't know any other way. So let me know if you do. I'm just going to attach two pieces. It would be easier on the ground. I have no idea if this is going to work, but we're just going to let this marinate and fuse together and then we'll give it a try. In the meantime, comment below on what you think of this natural stain color for the door frame and don't forget to follow so you don't miss day 39.